Okay, before I get into this video, if you hear like birds and like loud bird sounds in the background, sorry about that. I chose a bad time to film, but regardless, okay, it's not my fault these birds are having cardiac arrest. Anyway, forgetting about that, the smart buses. That's what this video is all about. This video today, I really just want to talk about them and really just almost say like thanks for everything, just early entertainment they've given me over the years because whether this channel's here today or not, whether I'm even a wrestling fan still, it is largely logic because of them. Because personally, back in 2014, 15, 16, I was really falling out of like favor with WWE and the wrestling world in general. Personally, I was just, I was, I was done. I was just bored of it. Especially because around the 2015, 2016 time, I just didn't have any passion for wrestling. And then I discovered the Smart Bosses channel around like, and like around the end of 2014. I'm watching their videos, like I watch every single video week after week, the raw reviews, the bus and smart videos, the rants, just, you know, rants about what culture, rants about Japan, rants about everything, and the amount of entertainment value they gave me, I can't even describe. Now, I've done some research for this video, and really just, you know, watched back a bunch of their videos, and God, the entertainment value is off the charts. Now, as I said, whether you love them, you hate them, you think they're just the, the biggest jerks in the world, because they, you know, disagree with your opinion, to me... Like, for example, like, I'm a massive CM Punk fan, and they absolutely despised Punk. And personally, I, I didn't care. Couldn't care less. I found them so entertaining with how they just belittle and berate all the, you know, people they talk about, that it was just so entertaining. Like, that was my thing with them. No matter what you thought of a show, whether you watched a Raw episode and you thought it was alright, and then their video comes out five hours after Raw, and it's just pissing and crapping all over Monday Night Raw, and just abusing every part of the show, it was great. It was so entertaining to watch. The way they did it, the way they delivered things, the, the, how rude they were, how like loud, like arrogant, like in your face but they were with Raw and about every single wrestler. Like, it was just excellent. And to, to me, in my opinion, honestly, like their, their goal with that channel, they started like, like November 2013. They made the Smart Buses channel, did the Why WWE Sucks video, which was great. And you could see them at the time it was so so youthful, so vibrant. Both of them actually had like hope for the channel that you know maybe they could, as their slogan was, change ra ra oh, sorry change wrestling one round at a time. But I mean, lo and behold, the WWE and the wrestling fraternity, like on the whole, has just died in the mainstream sense ever since like well, ever since Attitude Era really. It's just been on a downhill trend. Their channel, it was just it's funny to look at now. Like you look at the end of 2013, they start the channel and just ranting about Cena. The real Americans, Rybaxel, you know, trying to get those guys pushes, trying to make sure Cena doesn't doesn't get pushed, ranting about Daniel Bryan and all that, like how Batista should be pushed, how Reigns should be pushed, and how the the company's stuffing everything up with you know booking Ziggler and all these midgets and whatnot. Like it was just so fun to watch. And then you see over 2014, 2015, 2016, then you get to 2017, and the 2017 videos were the absolute funniest because they were just done with the company the product. Everything sucked in their eyes, which when you look back at 2017, not much was good. Like I can't really pinpoint anything. Like the, the main thing they watched for was Brock Lesnar Goldberg at that time period, which is great. And realistically, everything else just sucked in their eyes. And watching that video, 50 Reasons Why WWE is Unwatchable, I've watched that so many times. Like that video, because personally for me, I took a break from watching wrestling from like literally... <sighs> Round end of 2016 through pretty much 2019, just about. Like, I barely watched the company at all, the WWE. I barely watched it. I was just disen disenchan like disenchanted with it. Couldn't care less to watch the shows. I thought, if I miss six months, I'm not going to miss anything. Because Brock would be the champion I start watching when he stop I stop watching. Like, everything. And I didn't care. And to see them, like, they echoed so many of the views I had. And, had, you know, the negativity, the the anger towards this stuff. Like, if you guys see any correlation between my content and theirs, granted I don't swear nearly as much as they do, which, the swearing something, I didn't love it at times, but it was great, to, it was just entertaining, that's all it was. And personally, if I could, like, echo some of their opinions, I think that'd be great. Personally, like, their hatred towards anything independent, anything smarky, anything midget-related, anything that wasn't true, like, true blue, you know, big man pro wrestling, it was just, it was so great, and honestly, when I look back at what they did in that 2013 to 2017 time period, I just, I look back on that with such fondness, just their videos, it kept me interested in wrestling, which, 
I mean, I've said it, I'll say it again. Whether you love them or hate them, it doesn't bother me. This video could get a bunch of dislikes, could get like 20 views, because no one really cares, but this is the video I really want to make myself, because these two guys, righty, lefty, or righty, so Dylan and lefty Phil, as you know, later would find out, these two guys, like their, their passion was unrivaled, because like, all they wanted was wrestling to be great, and just because of the state wrestling is like was in the 2010s and it is now, it's even worse now than it was back when they were ranting about it. Like wrestling just it burnt them out totally, and now now the channel doesn't really upload anymore. I mean, you'll get your random video every couple of months of just you know Righty making a troll video, which I mean that's fair enough. Uh, I want them to come back, but do I expect it ever? No. Like this channel, like you saw Lefty especially in 2017, like he was absolutely done. Like that video it was like post SummerSlam, like post SummerSlam 2017. They were doing like a raw review or something, and he you know, had the long hair at that point, the cap backwards. He's sitting there with his sunnies on, just looking like he absolutely hates wrestling. And he said that himself, he just hates wrestling. He's, he was done. And we've seen that ever since. He hasn't come back, and I guess that's wrestling. Phil got burnt out, which Phil Brooks got burnt out in real life. Phil with the Smart Busters got burnt out, and it was just appropriate to that. So basically, the Smart Busters from. The videos about Danielson and back in like 2014 when they had like the debates for all the channels, like Pulse and Danielson, I remember that so fondly. That was just, the stuff they did was hilarious. Like the exposing Danielson video, I still watch back re like regularly and just piss myself laughing at. The video about, I remember the one where they did the, like playing the interactive game, like WWE.com game, which was so funny. That was hilarious. Like when they when they'd start a shop and they'd start screaming, click off the video, and it was it was just priceless. Then you have the raw reviews every week, which they made just dead, boring, crap raws seem super entertaining. Just love that. It was it was some of the best times of me being a wrestling fan in the PG era. Just watching their videos after raw, it made me actually enjoy like because I'd watch the shows and think, oh, how are they going to rip the show apart this time? Which yeah, even if you watch a dead, bland raw in February of twenty. 15 like they could make a video about it and you'd, you'd be genuinely entertained watching it so i mean that's all i've got to say about smart buses here this video as i said i don't expect it to get insane views but it's just really to say like thank you to them whether they see this or not they probably won't care but you know th that's just the guys they are it doesn't doesn't matter I don't, i'm not trying to get like a shout out or anything i just want to make this video because i want to say thanks to them for everything that all the entertainment value they gave me because out of the, all the uploads they've done, generally I've probably watched 90% of them minimum. Like I've watched like just about nearly all their videos and I've had so much fun watching them because granted you have like your rant-a-thons and your Q&As, which they hated making, which was hilarious. Talk about how they hate the fans for having to put them through making the Q&As and how everyone asks the same questions over and over. And then the 50 reasons why said person sucks, like the 50 reasons why Michael Cole sucks video. One of the funniest videos you'll ever see to the rant about what culture in Japan and all that. That video was incredible. Like, and then the hangouts and just everything they did. I thought it was excellent. They didn't put much effort in the channel, but the way they put these things in, and also that comment, not putting much effort in, they'll admit that. You one to two videos a week of just yelling at a camera. It's, just, it's not exactly like eight hours worth of editing for one video, but what they did was so entertaining. It was so great to watch. I just want to say thanks to them. So. That's the video today, just talking about the Smart Busters and everything they did for me as a wrestling fan. Because, honestly, they kept me involved in wrestling for, like, a number of years. If it wasn't for them, I'd be done. I probably wouldn't even have this channel now. Which, now, my passion for wrestling, not this coming from Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, because those shows are absolutely abysmal. My passion for wrestling is just coming from, like, engagement and interaction with a new community. That's the main reason I do this, because, like, as, as the Smart Busters have shown... The, the real long-term passion and hope for wrestling to be great again, is that's gone. We've seen that even in 2019 with the introduction of SmackDown on Fox. It was supposed to be a new revolution, a new era for WWE, and it's worse than it was before. Like, mainstream pro wrestling is dead. The Smart Busters, they made their statement, they made their, like, their mark on the wrestling community, on the IWC. They were fresh, they were exciting. Their delivery of rants, their passion, it was, there was nothing, it's nothing like them. Like, there's nothing that in your face, that like confronting about, you know, the truth with pro wrestling. And at the end of the day, I just want to say thanks to them. So yeah, I mean, that's the video. Just thank you to Smart Bosses. Thanks for everything. The two guys, they, they probably don't care about me want like me saying this. Well, they probably see this, no, but I just want to say thanks. So be sure to like, comment, and sub. 
Drop your opinion down below. What do you think of these two guys, the Smart Bosses? What do you think of their channel, 2013, 2017? What, what did you think? I thought it was a great run for them. And I thought if they stuck around, granted they didn't want to, but if they stuck around, I'd love that. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Be, be sure to sub.